Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Monday, March 11th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I hope you all had a great weekend. Let's begin with two items on Valerie Harper. Valerie will be appearing on today's edition of Daytime Talker, The Doctors, opposite her Mary Tyler Moore show, co-stars Ed Asner and Cloris Leachman, and two of her doctors, and she will speak openly about her current prognosis of terminal brain cancer. I have to give Valerie so much credit for being so open and so honest and so brave. And MeTV, the cable network that features classic television, will theme this week's episodes of The Mary Tyler Moore Show on Valerie's Rhoda Morgenstern character. Tonight's episode will feature the pilot episode of The Mary Tyler Moore Show. It airs on MeTV at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. And I will have more for you on Valerie Harper as the weeks progress. Valerie, our thoughts and our prayers are with you. Now, today, sadly, we have to say officially goodbye to Larry Hagman, who played the character we all love to hate, J.R. Ewing. Tonight's episode of the Dallas Reboot on TNT will feature the funeral of J.R. Ewing. I thought the ending of last week's episode was very clever and very unexpected. J.R. is alone. A gunshot goes off. He is shot. We have another mystery. Who shot J.R.? And tonight's episode will feature a number of original cast members returning, including Ken Kerchival, Ted Shackelford, Charlene Tilton, Steve Kennelly. Kathy Podwell, who played J.R.'s wife in the later seasons of the original Dallas, and Deborah Shelton as J.R.'s mistress, Mandy. Next week's episode, by the way, will feature the return of Joan Van Ark as Valene, Gary's wife. Unfortunately, a number of the original cast members will not be back tonight, including Victoria Principal, Priscilla Presley, and Susan Howard who played Donna Culver. I remember years ago, I made mention of an item on Susan Howard. She was missing from a reunion show of Dallas, and I got a very nice email from her. I wish they would have asked her back tonight, or maybe they didn't, she didn't do it, for whatever reason. So tonight is the funeral of J.R. on Dallas. Now let's head to some rating news. Saturday Night Live, NBC is reporting its highest overnight ratings since January 2012. This past weekend, it averaged a 5.9 rating in the overnights with guest host Justin Timberlake. On today's newsletter, I have an update on the ratings in daytime court. There are nine current occupants. None of them can touch Judge Judy. She delivers about three times the audience as the number two show in the category, which is Judge Joe Brown. And the amazing thing about syndicated court is of the nine current occupants, my prediction is they are all going to come back next season. So check out our newsletter. There is a link. You can go to our website to see the complete rankings. In the weekend box office, Oz the Great and the Powerful, which I took my 10-year-old daughter to see, stood well above anything else with $80.3 million in U.S. box office receipts. Forget about any negative reviews. It's a lot of fun. Great special effects. Go and see it. Coming up on the air tonight, if you're a fan of The Bachelor on ABC, it is concluding for the season with a two-hour episode leading into annual special The Bachelor after the final rose. You know, say what you want about this show. It's cheesy, it's goofy, it's silly, all the above. It brings in an audience, and it was actually up year to year. Finally, on this day in TV history, in 1989 was the debut of long-running Fox reality show Cops, which makes it 24 years old. In 1980, classic drama The White Shadow from Bruce Paltrow, who created Sane Elsewhere, one of the core characters was killed off in a liquor accident, a liquor shooting, excuse me, Curtis Jackson. And in 1983, Falcon Crest, which aired out of Dallas, I think had one of the best cliffhangers, season ending episodes of any serialized drama when Julia is revealed as the murderer of Carlo Agretti. She pulls out a gun, shoots someone else. And I have a clip for you from YouTube on our website. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 11th day of March. I want to thank you for joining me, and I will be back with more news of my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Have a great day.